Господа, что вы хотите узнать? The moon, next stop, the moon, yeah. Um, what kept me, uh, we tried to do a show here in, uh, I think, the 80s, but um, there was some sort of uh, legislation against it or some sort of rule kept us out of here. So it's great to be in here now, today, in a beautiful setting, the Red Square. And it's my first time in Russia, so it's very exciting for me just as a tourist. I can't wait to play tonight to these lovely Ruskies. <laughs> Lady in the front, uh, right in front of you. Six Channel Moscow, uh, please say me what for you Russia. What you think about Russia before this day? What you know about Russia before this day? Um, you know, when I was a little kid growing up, uh, we didn't know much about Russia. We just thought that um, we heard about Siberia and we saw the march pasts happening in this square. You know, so we thought it was very military and very uh, serious place, but. Um, in the 60s, we started to hear that people liked the Beatles, and uh, so obviously we started to feel much better about it personally. And um, and then, you know, after Glasnost, we realized that they're, they're great people, they've got big hearts, and they're just like us. So it's, uh, I'm very excited, you know, that uh, after all this time of the Beatles being uh, sort of banned in Russia, that we can finally come and do the show. It's exciting for me. I now know that they are wonderful people. Aliona, do you want to translate that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, they're 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 not to you walked right into that one. Thank you for your welcome. Yeah, it's really great to be here. I love it. Fabulous. Gentlemen down the front, the shades. Yes, and what, do you, what images do you have when you play now? Are they the same as? They were before, or? Um, yeah, I, I do love doing the Beatles songs. After the Beatles broke up, um, and we started the group Winter Tea with Wings, but now it's time to uh, just enjoy ourselves and do stuff that the audience likes. And seeing as I haven't done them for so long, the musicians seem to like them, and I enjoy doing them. I'm very proud of having been in the Beatles. Gentlemen Good group. <laughs> Gentlemen with the uh, flat jacket on. Был самый необычный концерт в вашей жизни. И еще один вопрос. Какая самая сложная, на ваш взгляд, песня, которую вы исполняете на концертах, именно для живого исполнения? So, Paul, uh, it's been uh, said that uh, a few years ago, a little boy came to you and asked to play with the uh, school band. Is it true or not? And the second one, uh, which is the most difficult uh, song to perform live? Um, I don't understand this question about a little boy coming and asking to play with the band. 
Oh, there's some news. Yeah, no, there seem to be a few little rumours in Russia. Um, but that's not true, and it's also not true that with the Beatles came to the airport and did a concert in the 60s. But uh, that is another rumour. So I don't know about that. And the most difficult song to perform, um, I don't know. They're all not that difficult. I've, I've learned them all now. Wait, what? Distractions. No, I haven't done that one. That is a little known number that no one else will probably know, but thank you for mentioning it. Gentleman down the front on the corner with a green shirt. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Hey. Do you ever record in the studio with your legendary... For quite a while after the Beatles, I sort of retired it, you know. I thought it was a little bit of an old-fashioned instrument and I got some more modern instruments. But then I was... Uh, what did you talk about uh, with President Putin today? It's a secret. I can't tell you. <laughs> now, we, we, it was... Uh, first of all, it was very sort of formal. And um, we talked about just uh, how happy I was to be in Russia and he, he welcomed Heather and I. Um, but then it got to be more informal, and we talked about a lot of things. I thought he was a, seemed to be a, a really nice guy. And uh, we talked about the fact that he was a wrestler in his youth. <laughs> I nearly took him on, but I thought better of it. Um, you know, he, he, we talked about a lot of things. Uh, horse riding, music. I sang him a song. Because he couldn't come to the concert tonight, so I gave him a little private thing. But it was very nice, you know, it was very nice to meet him. It was an honor to meet him. Uh, he seems like a great head of state. Uh, and we talked about people. Uh, we're all from working class families. He is, Heather is, and I am. And uh, we talked about the value of uh, people and families. So we had a lot in common, as far as I'm Which is an answer, you know. As the bells of Red Square ring out, let it be. Lady down the front of the second row. So the other lady, then I'm not. Sorry. Сэрхол, скажите, пожалуйста, какая самая невероятная легенда о, о вас, которую вы можете нам рассказать? У нас, например, существует легенда, что в 60-е годы Битлз приезжали э, в Россию, но их не пустили дальше аэропорта Шрепетьево, где они и дали единственный в России концерт. А, еще что-нибудь вы можете рассказать о себе? Just be great to have him here and to have George here, you know, that would be beautiful. Unfortunately, it's not possible, but uh, yeah, it would have been great, It'd be really nice. And what song would we have done? I don't know, maybe I want to hold your hand. How about that? Yeah, the, the this side please person. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't know, you know, I think it would be very... I've never sung that song live, so I think that will be the year that I start to sing it live. But there is a story I've been part of that. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to go. Thank you, everyone, thanks very much. Спасибо. Thank you, спасибо. Goodbye. All right, thank you very much, bye. Господа, пожалуйста, оставайтесь на своих местах, если вам не сложно, по несколько минут буквально.